We're sending heat number 12 straight round then. Aidan Collins and Tom Woolley will be the partnership for England. Meanwhile, for the rest of the world, it's Damien Kopp and Rory Schlein. Schlein yet to score a point for the rest of the world team. It's not been a great day for him so far. He seems to be enjoying his racing, but uh, nonetheless, not really in amongst the points so far. Damien Kopp, meanwhile, was a selection previously for a tactical outing. And another tactical is soon to be used. We wait for official confirmation for that as the rest of the world look to gain some kind of advantage back on the host nation. So Aidan Collins, the last rider to slot into line. Across the starting tapes then, it's uh, Damien Kopp going off the inside, Collins off two, off gate number three. It's the number five of Rory Schlein and finally off the outside, the 93 of Tom Woolley. Just coming to line now, the number 52 of Tony Primer. So I did suggest that a tactical was on its way and uh, going off the penalty line here is Tony Primer who will complete a five rider lineup as the tactical facility is employed for the last time here by the rest of the world. If they don't get anything from this, it looks like it's game over. Can Tony Prima work his way through from the back row? He's been the biggest point scorer so far and he's immediately made a decent start, but can he get right in amongst it? He's past Woolley, down into the first turn. Cops hit the front. It's Damien Cop from Aidan Collins. In third place, it's Prima. Woolley trying to get around the outside of him now, but locks up out of the fourth bend. Collins still around the outside. Woolley almost lost it down into turn one. And now Primer's up the inside of Aidan Collins, trying for second. Collins going for the cutback out of the fourth bend. Cop holds the line well. There's two races in one here as Collins is all over the back of the 62 of Damien Cop, who covers the line into turn three. Woolley, meanwhile, is trying the outside to pass Tony Primer over third. Collins too deep there on the first and second turns. We'll get the momentum down into the third bend, but still holding the inside. It's Damien Kopp who's run wide out of turn four to block Collins. But Collins has gone for the cutback. Gets right up the inside and alongside Damien Kopp. Now slams into the side of him and nerfs him out of the way into bend three. Kopp goes for the cutback. We'll do the same into bend one. And draws right alongside Collins and sends him to the fence. Primer not quite close enough to take advantage. An outstanding race this one. They're toe to toe. Collins with the cutback. Just about Damien Kopp will hold on in the run down to the line. The best race of the day in heat number 12. It was so important for the rest of the world to gain some kind of advantage. And that is exactly what they have done. Damien Kopp outstanding right to the finish. He is only the second race winner of the day for the rest of the world team. But it was much needed. The tactical ride was in play as we saw from the back there. Tony Primer working his way through. It's his worst result of the day actually. He's been in good form for the rest of the world team. But from the back row to come through for third a good result for him. And making it a heat advantage by taking the chequered flag under a lot of pressure from Aidan Collins. Damien Kopp the outstanding winner of heat 12. Damien, he just said...